Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and today I'll be showing you how to draw a circle using GIMP. Real quick before I dive in, if you want to see more tutorials covering free and open source software like GIMP, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. All right, so let's get into it. When you're drawing shapes in GIMP, you're gonna to wanna to create a new layer. That way you're not drawing the shape directly on whatever layer it is you're working on. Maybe that's your image layer or your background layer, like in this case. So what we'll do is come over here to the layers panel. And at the bottom of the layers panel, you'll see this icon to create a new layer. We'll click on that. You can name the layer circle or whatever you want. And just make sure down here you fill this with transparency. So I'll come over here and click OK. So now we have a new transparent layer above our background layer. Now we can draw our circle. What I'll do is come over here to the toolbox and click and hold my mouse on the second tool group. And you'll see here just below the rectangle select tool is the ellipse select tool. You'll also see the shortcut key for this is the E key. So I'll release my mouse on the ellipse select tool. Now when I click and drag my mouse, it's going to draw an ellipse. And if I hold the shift key, it's going to lock the aspect ratio of the ellipse to one to one. And that's how you get a circle. You have an ellipse with a one to one aspect ratio. So now I can release my mouse and I have a circle. If you look over here in the tool options, you'll see when we hold the shift key that this box is checked and the aspect ratio by default is one to one to start with. You can always type one colon one if the aspect ratio isn't one to one for you guys. But then you can click and drag this again. Make sure you hold the shift key. That locks the aspect ratio. Holding the control key will draw from the center. So I'll release my mouse. Once I have the size circle I want, I can come over here to my foreground color swatch and just simply click and drag that into the circle. Release my mouse. And now we have a fill for our circle. And you can see over here, the circle layer thumbnail preview shows a circle. So if you're happy with that, you can hit Control Shift A to deselect that. That's the same as going to select none. And right now we have our circle. If I hit the M key to grab my move tool, when I move this, you're gonna notice that the boundary of the layer is still huge. It's the same size as the entire image. So let me hit Control Z. If you want to shrink the boundary size to the circle, you can go to Layer, Crop to Content, and that's going to crop the layer size down to the circle. So now when we move this around, the layer size matches our circle. If you want to change the color of the circle at any time, the best way to do it is to come over here to the circle layer, click the Lock Alpha Channel icon, and then you can come over here, click on your foreground swatch. You could change this to whatever color you want. Click OK. And then click and drag that new color inside the circle. And there you have a new color. Just make sure when you're done changing the color of your circle that you come back over here to the Layers panel and unlock that alpha channel. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.